All right, welcome to Speed Chat. I'm going to try to do a quick, I don't know, DIY video, I guess, um, <coughs> where I have bought these links off of uh, eBay when the FCS first came out, or the FMS, FX24, FMS 24 scale crawler came out. So this was the only thing available, and these were a high clearance link that were 20 millimeters longer, which was cool. So I put it together that way, and once I got my body on there after a while, I got tired of it looking so funny. And I think it will help performance a little bit to shorten it up. I'm not just trying to climb straight up hills. So I shortened these a little bit. Took 10 millimeters out of them. And it seemed to help a little bit, but uh, I broke one of them. And not by fault of the person who made them, by fault because I modified them. So that's fine. Uh, I decided I was just going to make my own links. And so what I did is took these out. And I took a stock link, and I used that to make my links. And I'll show you what I did. Is first, I just took a photo of it, okay, uh, with some contrast. Put it on a white piece of paper. Took a photo of it. Uh, then I took it over and I put it in this eraser background deal, where you just come in and crop it as much as you can, and then you hit done. Then you come in here with some auto color and it gets rid of the majority of it. And then you just kind of clean it up from there. After that, I saved it in my gallery. And I took it over here and I put it in the Cricut. And let's see if I can upload the original. Don't want the original. I want that. It's next. Keep uploading it when I need to add. Okay, and you can see there's the big old behemoth that I added. Comes across as huge. And I'm sure there's much easier ways to do it. I'm just showing you how I did it. Uh, so first and foremost, how uh, this is in there at an angle, you have this extra space that causes problems sometimes. So I just kind of went in and added a shape and cut that out. Um, but to get the shape of the high clearance links um first thing i did is i measured them so i measured that with caliper from basically here to here the the curve don't matter uh because what matters is the distance um, so I measured it and then I added five millimeters and I have a hard time with that inches. So I just go over and then I added my five. And then I went back to inches and that gave me my exact measurement that I needed this guy to be for my top link. So I used the bottom link to make my top link because I'm not going to use this triangle deal. Um, so that's how I made the top one. And then for my bottom one, I took my shape I had. Straighten out a little bit. And I just took a, a square, put it in there, kind of where I wanted my bin to be. Highlighted them. Sliced it. This is just trying to do it fast. Pulled my old part away. Reached in there, grabbed the one that was a different color. So it's a little bit easier. Uh, actually, that gnome are a different color. So then I want to come in here and keep going. delete the rest of this. And then I took this, and I am going to change the color to make it easier to see. This to be rotated now. So I just took it and connected my points right there. Then I just took another shape, like a circle or whatever. Oh, first I have to weld this though. So I welded it. Next, I took my circle. And this is probably way more complicated. I have this is what I taught myself. Uh, 
and filled up my space. And I'm okay with that being a little bit curved. So that's fine. So then I just took it again and welded it, and boom, I have a high clearance link. So you can make your link whatever shape you want, as long as you don't have any kind of binding issues, rubbing issues, and you get your distance correct. So again, I just took this link, the this one here, the bottom link, and I measured it out, and I added my 5 millimeters, because I still want to be a little bit longer. And that was that. So I'm going to delete this now. And I've got my two, my four links. So I printed them off on some permanent vinyl. And then I took a sheet. Let's see. I want to say it's one mil, but maybe it's a half. It's kind of thin. Again, quality carbon fiber is, uh, it's very strong. So less than a millimeter, three quarters of a millimeter. Uh, and placed my stickers on there. And it took a dremel. I don't know how much carbon fiber you cut, but this is the best bit for cutting carbon fiber. I think it's maybe a wood bit, but I'm not for sure. Um, I did see some that were labeled wood bits, but they were a bit smaller than this one. Um, but this cuts through carbon fiber like butter. It's amazing. Um, so I used that and cut out my pieces and got it fairly close as I could. So there's my close as I could get with the Dremel. And then from there, I use the sander to kind of fine polish it to get the, the heavy work done. Um, really, depending upon how good you want it to look, you probably can switch to a file from here. Um, and what I use for a file, which I did it, I kind of rushed it a little bit, is just these diamonds files. Um, they work really great on carbon fiber and working on small parts. So I've got one that I'm going to consider to be completed, and this is an upper link right here, and a lower link right here. I just have it connected to the old one so I can see if I actually gained any distance or not, which I did. Um, so let's screw it on there, though. And then there is my lower link. So the only reason I didn't make them first in the first place is because I was concerned there's no way for me to put a ball in there. Um, but this guy didn't put a ball in his. He just made a hole, and they were a lot thicker than this. And it worked out just fine. So I'm not concerned with having a ball uh, on 24 scale anyways, apparently. Uh, so I'm just going to cut out my shapes, and hopefully it's going to work out. Uh, I made myself a little link riser or two. I don't know if I needed it, but it's made out of carbon fiber. Kind of just raises it up a little, just a little bit uh, to help with AMS spot. And let's see. I think that's really all there is to it. So just cut out my pieces and then fine tune it with the file and then install. So that's what I did. I took my picture and then I used the background eraser app to get my shape. And then I put that into Cricut so I could print me off a, a pattern that I could stick onto a piece of carbon fiber. I do this with so many parts that I need to make. I just take a picture of it, remove the background, put it in Cricut, make my pattern and put it on a piece of carbon fiber and cut it out from there. Um, if anybody knows maybe a different way I could do it better, let me know. And if this helps you out on some project that you're working on, I hope it does. Uh, let me know if you like this type of video. Thanks for watching.